So anyway, uh, do we have any radio graffiti calls to be had out here, engineer? Well, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to radio graffiti right now. All right, let's let's hook it up with the uh, radio graffiti line. in the conference. Eight. eight. Hold on. Hold on. There's only eight fucking people in the queue, and you people are talking about how you want fucking radio graffiti. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus Christ, man. We might as well do more videos then. All right? We might as well do more fucking videos. Son of a bitch. Fucking God damn. Hold on. Let me let me have a smoke here. I don't... I, I, maybe I should be drinking. I really shouldn't be drinking. I really shouldn't be drinking. All right? I'm going to wait until after the broadcast. I will probably be in the Thunderdome 30 minutes after the broadcast... Uh, chilling in there, okay? And if you want to be a part of the Thunderdome, hook it up on buymeacoffee.com slash ghostpolitics and hook it up with 15 beers and I will give you an invitation into the Thunderdome. Remember, you saw what happened earlier. It's fucking trolly. It's rambunctious. And if you like that kind of thing, that's that's where you're going to find it, all right? All right, let me have a smoke here and then we're going to get to Radio Graffiti. Now we got some people calling in. If you want to participate, call in right now, 667-770-1015. And once the operator bitch starts talking, push in the code 844-286. All right? All right, let me go ahead and smoke this. Here we go. Cheers to everybody out there. That's it. You got to hold it in, let it hit the brain, baby. All right? Hold it in, let it hit the brain. All right, let's take some numbers here. Let's see who we have here. Let's take some... Hold on, what is this? Buy that for a dollar. Pick up 734. Oh, well, okay. How about 734, Radio Graffiti? I like sugar and dye, I like tea, but I don't like... No Whoa! Things. There's two no things. That's that not me, that's AI! Big you know that's, that's not me! And the end of the lazy piece. Would sure like to get up, hold of hate me. Take that shit up! No! 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 no. Ah. Fucking first call, you asshole! First fucking call! You see. I, I fucking hated AI right when it fucking started coming out at the beginning of the fucking year. Y'all remember that show? AI is going to change our reality and take a look right fucking there. Right fucking there is a goddamn prime example, man. Jesus Christ. Let me... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm going to empty my bowl now. You see, now I'm going to take my fucking time taking radio graffiti calls, asshole. All right, I'm puffing on my tobacco here, all right? I'm puffing on my tobacco. And by the way, I got a new strain here. What's well, an old strain, but still a new strain today. Uh, Dirty Merkin is the name of the strain of tobacco. Dirty Merkin, just FYI, anybody who's asking, anybody who's wondering. I know a lot of people always asking, hey, ghost, what's the strain of tobacco? All right, man. Anyway, let's go ahead. And wait a minute. I'm not, I'm not fucking smoking it out of a glass spoon. I, I got a glass pipe. It's hand blown. All right, I got a hand blown fucking pipe here. All right, so give me a fucking break. And I'm not answering that question, Indica or Sictiv. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not conducting myself in any an illegal contraband. All right, let's just put it that way. All right, cheers, baby, cheers. All right. That's it. Hold it in. Let it hit the brain, baby. Hold it in, let it hit the brain. All right, let's take some more numbers here. Uh, how about 205, Raider Graffiti? Hey, Ghost. How's it going? What's up, dude? Are you going to come to the inner circle later? You're not in the inner circle, you asshole. Stop, stop it, all right? The inner circle is what? a... What? I am in the inner circle. Get this fucking tart out of here. You're not in the fucking inner circle, you dumb piece of trash. How about 240 Radio Graffiti? <laughs> I 
Oh my god, here he goes. It's my first time calling that on the show. Me pick up the real uh, 734. I, I recently went whale watching, went on vacation in Canada, and I swear to god, I could see Chris Krispy Kreme swimming with his pod. Yeah, alright. Uh, shut up, you fucking Canadian tart, alright? Go fucking hump a dead moose and put a fucking maple leaf up your goddamn fruity shithole, all right, you dumb son of a bitch? All right, how about 734 Radio Graffiti? I'm 100% I'm 200% Dude, that's not me, all right? That's not me! Shut up! Look, that isn't me, alright? That's obviously some fucking AI asshole, you know, doing his thing, you know, all that crap. That isn't fucking me, asshole, alright? Holy shit! Fucking 20 beers, Haywood! Holy shit, hold on just a second. What What is Haywood hooking it up here? Uh, put the PC shot on. Uh, we got Haywood hooking it up with 20 beers... Settle in for a bit and grab a beer or two. I'll be on eight uh, eight one seven after I got a few more beers down. Well, the problem is I'm not too sure if I have beer. I think I drank all my fucking beer and I got to go to the bar in the other. Of the uh, never mind. I just gotta hold on. Let me let me check and see if I got any beer. Jesus Christ! Gotta catch. Fucking people are making me get up and see if I have any goddamn beer here. All right. All right, I don't have any fucking goddamn fucking beer over here. The fuck do I have? I ain't got shit. I got one fucking beer. All right? You know what? I'm gonna fuck this. Let me have, let me have some fucking ice. How about that shit? All right? This is for fucking Haywood over there. This is for Haywood. You see what you got me doing, Haywood, for the heaven's sake. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. i tell you what the hell I'm going to do. I got me a glass with motherfucking ice up in here. All right. Fake fridge. You fucking dumb assholes, dude. All right, look. All right, I've got me a scotch right here, okay? I got me a Glen, a Glen Morangi, and this is aged 13 years, but the reason I got it is because it's a Highland single malt that was aged in cognac casks. All right, so uh, this is actually, and I've already had this, but uh, here, let me go ahead and pop this open. All right, there it is. Uh, this is a Glen Morangi, as I was stating, aged 13 years, uh, aged in cognac casks, and let me tell you, the cognac flavor on this is unbelievable. If you're a cognac fan, if you like Covassier or Remy or any of that shit, uh, this is going to be right up your ass crack. And the thing is, is that this has been aged. So this is aged Highland single malt scotch. So happy, uh, happy Ball of Friday and cheers to everybody out there. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah. Oh, gee. Oh, oh, that's an only use me blade shot right there, baby. You know what I'm saying? So, look, I got to get some beer from uh, another part of my property. And then <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Pick up important call from Foxo. This $5 dono also entitles me to an Andrew Dice Clay impression for at least one call. An Andrew Dice Clay impression? All right, hold on. I just want to say cheers to everybody out there. Happy Baller Friday. You got me drinking scotch already. I shouldn't even be drinking. I'm already on here for four I fucking hours. This is a real call this time. Pick up 734. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, hold on just a second, all right? I got to get to Foxo here. Where the hell is he at? Where's Foxo? I don't even see him on here. I don't even fucking see it. All right, here's important call from Foxo, Radio Graffiti. <laughs> Hey Ghost, did you hear this landed in the I already talked about that, Gunter. Baby sweat, baby sex is a Texas drop me and Are you fucking kidding me? 
about, so put your hands down my pants and I'll Is that fucking me again? And you're getting two thumbs up. You had enough of two hand touch. Oh, you want Jesus it Christ. I want you smothered. What you covered like my waffle house. That's brown's from the cook of the fucking AI, AI dude. Like you are inclined to make me rise an hour early, just like daylight savings time. Do it now. You and me, baby. Stretch the What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Dude, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Get it, hold it now. Dude, let me just shut that shit up. Dude, I've had enough of AI, dude, all right? All right, now you've got me singing that fruity-ass fucking song over here, and it sounded like that was supposedly me taking it up the tailpipe or some shit. Jesus Christ. Anyway, I want to say cheers to everybody out there who's listening on a Baller Friday. Once again, Glenn Morangi, aged 13 years and aged in cognac casks. So, cheers, baby. Ah. Man, that is good. Ah, if you love cognac, man, that cognac flavor is dominant in that palate, dude. Not even joking around. All right, I got to get to, uh, let's see, uh, 734 Radio Graffiti. Um, Ghost, let me take you to Ram Ranch so I can show you my 18 naked cowboy friends, baby. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why don't you take about 10 steps away from my freaking butt crack? How about that? Yeah, you still want it then? <laughs> hey, you still want it now? Hey! All right, never mind. Forget it. I, I guess he got cold feet. Oh, my. Uh, all right, let's continue, folks. Let's take some more numbers here. Uh, how about 317, Radio Graffiti? Hello, Ghost. How are you? Uh, well, I'm as good as it gets on a Bowler Friday, uh, considering. You know what I mean? Well, you want to live large on a Bowler Friday, and it sounds like you're doing just that. I'm very proud of you. Oh, uh, really? You're proud of me? I don't need to be proud of you, ghost. All right. How many cigarettes do you happen to smoke a day, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I usually go to the, the supermarket, and I get the black and mild jazz wood tips, and I stack them up by the 44, so I put them in both hands. I grip my mouth hole all the way around all of that awesome wood, and I take a big suck in, ghost. I go... <laughs> What the fuck? Jesus Christ. All right, that's enough. I, what the fuck was that? I almost felt like I was in an episode of the fucking Pee Wee Herman movie of Large Marge or some shit. I mean, what the fuck was that shit? Jesus Christ. Tell him Large Marge sent you. All right, let's continue. Let's take some names here. Who do we got? We've got... Oh, what is this? 734. Jesus Christ. All right, well... All right, 734, Radio Graffiti. Tried it, Radio Graffiti. Look at this photograph. Oh, fuck you. Someone who makes me laugh. Not broke back, uh, broke yeah, dick, nickelback. No. And what the hell is no. Is Not I broke back, up. broke dick, nickelback. Just fuck no. It up. I never knew we ever went with it out. Jesus the fucking Christ. Floor, to stay kid up. The missus went away at the school. Most of the time it made a face to Take this shit off of here, dude. Criminal records is a broke Take this broke back, broke dick, nickel back shit out of here. <laughs> fucking stupid. Fucking dumb. Fucking goddamn fucking ridiculous, man. Look. Uh, all right, look, I don't want to. I got I to gotta calm down. Dude. I don't want you fuckers ruining my fucking baller Friday here. Where's my positive reinforcement button? You can do it. I can fucking do it, dude. I can fucking do it, all right? I've been on here for longer than I really anticipated, and you all should give me at least a little bit of fucking respect, is all I got to say, all right? Jesus Christ. All right, how about uh, 720 Radio Graffiti? Okay, so let's go over it again. Where were you exactly that night? Look, 
I already told you, I was out by the Route 91 Country Music Festival, okay? I had no idea. Like, what time did you head back? I don't know, 9.45, 9.50 or so? So it was maybe 10, 15 minutes before the attack happened? I suppose that would be correct. And then you, around that time, decided to make the call, and you headed to your car. Yes. So when you finally got to your car, what happened? I unlocked it, I got in, and then I heard the gunshots, like pop, 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 and the screaming. I got in, and I drove off. You didn't call him again? No! I had no idea he had anything to do with Look, it! Look, Mr. Delone, we're getting mixed messages here from you and other sources, and I'm not sure if I want to sit here and fucking go over this again. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Ask me what? I fucking goddamn told you multiple Why times. Why did you make I... the 10 p.m. call to Stephen Paddock? How many times do I have to tell Don't you? I fuck did with it... us, you cocksucker. We have your phone records from AT&T. There was a call from 646-652-4869 to Stephen Paddock's cell phone right before he started fucking killing people. He got the call, you got out, and the shooting started. If you don't start fucking explaining what happened, I swear to God, this fucking instant, I'm going to throw you in for aiding and abetting. Fuck you, I want my fucking lawyer. Hey! That's right, you cocksuckers. I fucking shot up Las Vegas. Fuck. No! You fucking... No! God damn it! You stupid piece of pro-terror fucking goddamn trap! God damn it! God! All right, it's shit like that. It's fucking shit like that that's going to end radio graffiti really goddamn fast. I'm telling you that right goddamn now. Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ. And fuck all of you people in the chat rooms laughing, dude. That wasn't fucking funny, man. All right, that shit ain't funny. If it was fucking you, your asses wouldn't be fucking laughing. I can tell you that right goddamn now. <sighs> Jesus, I need a drink. Give me another drink, please. All right. <sighs> you son of a bitch. All right, let me, let me take a name then. All right, let's take some fucking names here. Haywood, uh, Radio Graffiti. <clears throat> Dearly beloved, Sorry, man, we are gathered check here the to celebrate on. the Holy Mass. Also, I just tuned in at Radio Graffiti. Uh, P.S. This doesn't mean skip me ahead man. of people. And a quite Some people Arab have gentleman. been wafting too long. Now that I have been paid in full, and we are in a tolerant country that allows <laughs> marriage, let's get this over with. The <laughs> coming. <clears throat> I don't want to idly ruin our world. <clears throat> Do you, Jason Delone, take odd hammer? lawfully wedded husband. Yes, I do. I swear upon this mountain of beer cans that we stand on today that I will eternally cherish and oh, love Jesus Art Hammond. Christ. Every single delicious pound of him. Mm, mm, mm. And do you, Art Hammond, take Jason Ghost alone to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. I vow to scrub his soiled wheelchair. I vow to add to his ever-growing beer can collection. And I have taken him to more and more anime conventions. Though that's mostly because I love being able to use his disabled parking permit. Then by the power vested in me, Father White, I pronounce you fruit bowl and Arab. You may now... Uh, you know what? Don't do that. Do it where we can't see it, you godless s***. Ah! MK Ultra, oh my god. Are you kidding me? God. All right, dude, look. That, first of all, that's fucking disgusting, all right? And secondly, I've had enough of these fucking AI bullshits that you're fucking doing with my goddamn voice, dude. I'm, I'm telling you that right now. I'm getting sick and tired of this bullshit. I'm, I'm not... Motherfucker, dude. You, you goddamn motherfuckers. You goddamn motherfuckers, man. Let me get another fucking drink. You see, y'all are making me drink this shit like it's a beer. It's fucking scotch. I shouldn't be drinking like this, like like that fast. You know what I'm saying? You son of a bitch. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, hold on. We got 909 Radio Graffiti. Uh, hey, Ghost. Um, What's up? I'm just wondering, but when are you going to make it up to me after you scammed me last year of five dollars? Oh, Jesus Christ. You know what? You could take the five dollars, all right? You know what I'm saying? 
put it on your finger, yeah. and then shove it up your shitty shit funnel. That's what you can do. How about that? I'm afraid that's not good enough, Ghost. You're going to have to make it up to me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, then shut up, all right? Fucking freak show over here, all right? How about 817 Radio Graffiti? There's a photo of Ron DeSantis with young teenage girls, and one of them looks like they're holding a beer, and you people have no problem with that? You people have no problem. I mean, I'm just amazed at the double standard, but then again, why am I amazed? And you mean to tell me that I'm supposed to just undyingly give my support to this fucking piece of shit, even though he's trying to run himself as the anti-pedo candidate, anti-groomer candidate? Each and every one of you, they're like, oh my god, you know, Ron DeSantis, he's so base. He's a, you're a fucking pedophile uh, a sympathizer at this point, all right? <laughs> There's a photo of Trump with Epstein. Dude, everybody was around Jeffrey Epstein. He, that, that doesn't mean he was on Epstein Island, you dickhead. Epstein was around anybody who was affluent. Okay, I, 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 I don't understand. I mean, that's that was the truth that uh, Trump was not on the fucking plane of Epstein Island, but he certainly was around Epstein a lot. Let's put it that way, all right? So I don't understand what the hell that's supposed to mean. I don't understand what that's supposed to mean. But all you people that are out here that are trying to disrespect me, fuck you, dude. I'm not even joking around. You see, this is why nobody takes me serious. Because you fucking trolls have fucking done nothing but fucked up my goddamn broadcasting career. You know that? You all have fucked up my broadcasting career. I could have been bigger than Crowder, man. I could have been bigger than fucking, you know, uh, uh, fucking coffee filter head Shapiro. But no! No! Fucking pieces of shit. I'm a serious guy, man. I'm a serious guy, and people out there that listen to the substance of my content know it, man. Son of a bitch. You did it to yourself. No, you people did it. You people did it. You fucking troll terrorists did it. You fucking goddamn stupid cyber vermin with your fucking teeth. You fucking did it. You fucking did it. Piece of shit. You did it. Son of a bitch. You did it. All you trolls. You did it. Give me my fucking drink, man. <sighs> you did this shit to me, dude. All right? <laughs> you fucking people. Hey, hold on. Wait a minute. Fucking Haywood with another 10 beers over here. Jesus Christ. You see, he, he feels me like I'm about to fucking get the fuck out of here because of you fucking numb nuts. Haywood says... I'm not in Radio Graffiti. I don't know when I jump in. Play a decent vid and grab some beer. Well, I'm, I'm drinking scotch tonight, all right? I'm scotching it tonight. How about that shit? And uh, play a decent video. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Well, let me, let me, let me pause, no pun in fuck intended, Radio fucking Graffiti, and let's see if I can hook it up with a fucking uh, a, a video here. How about that? Courtesy of Haywood. All right, let's get back to Radio Graffiti, all right? Let's go ahead and get back to Radio Graffiti. If you want to call in for Radio Graffiti, give us a call right now, 667-770-1015. And once the operator bitch starts talking, just go ahead and push in 844-286. And you will be in queue to be a part of Radio Graffiti. Does everybody understand that? All right, let's go ahead and get back to Radio Graffiti right now! All right, Helmet Boy Radio Graffiti. You save big money. You save oh, big Jesus. money when you shut the door. Uh, all right. Today we've had a national tragedy. Two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center in an apparent terrorist attack on our country. I have spoken to the vice president. To the governor of New York. All right, yeah, we're not doing that. All right. By the way, I forgot. Uh, divorce bands uh, wanted me to hook him up. My bad, divorce band. Divorce band, radio graffiti. 
Hey Thomas, Gary from the Big Mom Gay Club again. Could you relay this message to West Coast Capitalists as soon as possible? Uh, thanks. So WCC, I received your request for the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse erotic roleplay session. I am fortunate I'm going to have to deny your session request because I don't know how many times I need to tell you. The Big One Gay Club is 18 plus. I can't have you bring in those 5, 10 year olds, damn it. Uh, dude, no, 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 no. You see, I get back right to Radio Graffiti, and you fucking idiots harsh my mellow when I'm I'm all woohoo and shit right now, dude. I'm all woohoo and shit, and you're fucking harshing my goddamn mellow, dude. Fucking piece of crap. You guys are fucking pieces of crap is all I got to say, all right? And plus, I need some more ice so I can put some more fucking uh, Glenn Morangi, age 13 years, in cognac casks. I need to put some more, all right? Give me a break. Give me a smoke. All right. All right. Let me let it hold in and hit the brain there. All right. How about uh, Gunter, Radio Graffiti? Oh, hello. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, do you... Uh, so, what do you think about the the moon landing? I talked about it earlier. I thought it was yeah, fake. About that. I was in, I, oh, you really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just wanted to know that. Well, let me let me play something here. Oh, jeez. All right. I mean, give me a fucking break. Didn't that sound like a real German, for Christ's sake? I mean, didn't that sound like a fucking real German, for fuck's sake? Lotschlagen, schliegen, schlagen, Volkswagen! Lotschlagen, schliegen, schlagen, Volkswagen! Anyway, sorry about that. Can we uh, continue on here? Uh, how about uh, 515, Radio Graffiti? Uh, 515, they just fucking hung up? What? Why call up if you're going to just call up and hang up, dude? How about one of my blacks, Radio Graffiti? Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest. And all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. All right, well, thank you very much. We appreciate that. And by the way, here's one of my blacks, Mega Max 578, Radio Graffiti. Hey, Mega Max, you there, brother? Hey, Mega Max, you there? Man, they must have made him sit on the back of the bus or some shit. I don't know what the hell happened. I, I thought you were there, dude. Uh, how about uh, 518, Radio Graffiti? Hey, Ghost, it's Winston Fujimori. What's going on, man? Hey, what's going on, Winston Fujimori? How you doing, dude? Hey, happy Baller Friday. Happy I Baller say, Friday! What's up, dude? I wanted to say, I went to the liquor store um, the other day, and I picked up something. It's going to sound really weird, but do you know what mead is? Yeah, mead is fucking, you know, four to, what was it? Uh, like, honey that's turned into, like, some kind of... I don't know, some kind of wine-ish type of situation or something? Yeah, I bought that, and uh, I bought, like, a 24-pack, uh, but I finished the 24-pack. So uh, I got that, and I got um, Enigma suggested I get something called Ballast Point, which I picked up. I got to refrigerate that, though. Um, I wanted to say, the song that I played, uh, they are not a Nazi band, as far as I know, but, yeah, that song is really weird, but... Like, you hear it once, and then you want to hear it again, and, like, after a while, it, it just kind of grows on you. you. You you bumping that in your car and shit there, Winston? You're bumping that? Occasionally, yeah. Oh, man, you got a lot of screws <laughs> loose, dude, all right? So I can I only know. imagine that you're, like, I don't know, whatever your car is, you're out there and you're bobbing your head while you're bumping this in your fucking car? 
Uh, I mostly like EDM music and like techno and stuff like that. Oh uh, yeah, like who? Uh, like uh, do you know? Remember the bands from the two thousands? I remember bands from the two thousands. What 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 band? Uh, I like Eiffel sixty five. I like uh, Eiffel sixty five. Isn't that I'm blue? That you know? Is that one? Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. I'm, I'm blue, wanna beat off a guy, wanna beat off a guy, I wanna beat off a guy. That one? Yeah, I like that. Um, okay. That's, like, really well known, though. Like, a lot of the times I don't remember the band names, but, um, and again, like, I was never exposed to music as a child. My parents would just listen to, like, Terrestrial FM, where they overplay all the songs, which I kind of get in a bad habit of, of over-listening to songs like that. But um, I'm trying to break away and get into more, like, indie stuff. Do you like uh, Carpenter Brute? Carpenter Brute. I believe I do. I don't remember any of the uh, his songs, though. Uh, do you like Perturbator? I've heard of them. I don't know any of their songs. Wait, you, you, hold on. You listen to EDM and you don't know those two fucks? Uh, I'm not very big on, like, I don't really remember the names, but I have a Spotify playlist that I like shuffle through all right well do, do you like uh, dirty vegas is that is that like the era you're talking about when it comes to edm again i don't remember of these names oh, Sorry about jesus that. christ well dude the only the only group that you named was eiffel 65 well, yeah, which is like a, a i'm song. blue i'm blue wanna beat off a guy wanna beat off a guy wanna beat off a that, that's that's the only song that you have fucking mentioned because the only songs that I know are like ones that are from overplayed musicians that everyone knows who the artist is. Like what? Other than that, like the one I just mentioned. I'm blue, wanna beat off. Are you talking about that one? Yeah, I I only re I'm remember I'm not exposed. I'm in a unique position. I was never exposed to music, and like my parents would just listen to overplayed stuff. So I know all the things that were like overplayed, but. When it comes to other music, I just listen, and if it's a song I like, I save it on my playlist on Spotify. Do you like ATB? I don't. I don't. Oh, it doesn't ring a bell. Jesus Christ! Uh, do you like uh, Tisto? Uh, someone said GG Augustino. I know a few of his songs. I like that. Um, that one. Uh, uh, blah blah blah. That's. Uh, that's literally the name of the song. That's, but that's the only one of his that I like. I think. Um, Dude, do you like uh, Tisto? What? Do you like Tisto? You're gonna have to DM me a bunch of these. Oh like, my names. god! All right, all right. Thank you, Winston. Get out of here. You're embarrassing yourself. All right. I like EDM. I'm giving him like fucking like the most mainstream EDM guys. Uh, I've never heard of that. <laughs> fucking Tisto is like internationally renowned. As being a fucking EDM guy, dude, like internationally renowned. Uh, I don't know that guy. I never, I never fucking really heard of that guy, for fuck's sake. Hey, hold on, we got, hold on, we got fucking Haywood. Do we got any radio graffiti calls, engineer? All right, well, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to radio graffiti right now. All right, let's see what we have here. See what we got going on. There are five participants in the conference. Uh, dude, hold on. Oh, 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 hold on. Are muted. Five participants in the fucking. Are you fucking kidding me, man? We probably ran everybody off. All right, probably ran everybody off. We we're all fucking woohoo and then shit. I need more scotch, dude. I'm already half. I'm already halfway done with this bottle. What is it, urinator? You're still on. Thanks for being up so late with us, Spoon. Yeah, well, thanks. You can thank Haywood, dude. A... Holy shit. God damn it, dude. I'm literally drinking all this bottle. Mrs. Ghost is not going to be happy that I fucking drank this bottle of fucking Glen Morangi 13 years. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Froppy, you fucking piece of shit, dude. I said no more donos, man. I'm fucking done. Hey, look at Froppy. He's like, ah, hey, dude, can you play this? Thanks, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm sure you do fucking appreciate it. God damn it, man. All right, that's enough, dude. All right, I'm done, all right? Hold on a second. 
Ugh. All right, I got to call on Haywood. All right, uh, Haywood Radio Graffiti. Hey, guess what's going on? Hey, man? what's going on, dude? Look, I, I did not anticipate to be here for uh, like over seven hours, dude. So, you know, it's going yeah, on eight no. hours. Dude, it, it's cool. Um, I mean, I, I I was wanting to do a big dono and keep you here a lot longer, but I guess my bank had other opinions. I don't know if you're uh, on the off with the banks or whatever, but... Yeah, I know, know how it goes. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, fucking dude, the, the, the first uh, fatality that I'd seen, and... You know, I've been driving a long time, and I haven't yeah. seen fatalities on the highway like really ever. You know, you see fender benders and shit. And uh, I was going out eastbound. The first one that I saw, they they shut that whole motherfucker down uh, east of Dallas. And uh, I'd seen something like a Honda Fit. Are you familiar with what a Honda Fit looks like? Uh, no, not really. Okay, a Honda Fit is like a small uh, two-door, four-door, like, sedan-type vehicle. So it's like and, a small, uh, it's like a small compact car? Yeah, yeah, man. It's, it's fucking super small. And uh, some motherfucker crossed over the highway, a semi, and a uh, fucking head-on collision with that bastard. Oh, and, God. uh yeah, dude, shove that engine block. There, there, there was no front section. There was no engine block section on that fit. It was just like cab, like you see, like windshield right? and that was flat. So it shoved that engine block and whatever the fuck was in there into whoever the fuck was driving it. Oh, and uh, yeah, that that was like on the. Uh, between the 8th and the 11th, I don't remember exactly when, but it shoved that motherfucker into there, and that, that, that sucker was dead, and then he hit like three or four other cars, you know, but, uh, I didn't, I didn't get to see the, the aftermath, the result of that, that, that bastard was covered with a, with a white sheet. You know, somebody I guess had a claw or ambulance or whatever. <laughs> I'd buy that and then, for a uh, dollar. you know, another another episode today. I'm going out westbound on I-30. Fucking going to go run uh, service calls. And uh, why the fuck is the left lane always clogged up? Well, you know, the accidents are always happening in the left lane. It's a fast lane. Yeah, the fast lane. That's where everybody fucks up at. And, uh, <laughs> what's kind of funny is that I think it actually happened in the right lane and then it crossed over to the left lane. Uh, because in the right lane, on the way out to Weatherford, like, you know, just out west of uh, Fort Worth, Texas, I'm in Mexico, I'm in DFW, and I ain't no surprise to anybody. But, you, you know how they have those uh, construction signs that are on like a trailer and then they have like the LED display light up so that they traffic ahead or this plane shut down yeah, several yeah, miles yeah, of ahead. Course. They do that often, yeah. They're always working on the highways out here. Yeah, you know about those, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, this motherfucker was torn apart. I mean, like, the, the trailer was there on the side of the road, but the sign was not attached to it. And that motherfucker looked like it was in ribbons. And uh, <laughs> as we approached it, there was uh, a truck that looked a little fucked up, and then there was a little car that looked like fucking Wolverine took its claws to it. It looked like it was super fucked up. And you were uh, you were saying uh, in the chat room that you had seen this and it kind of like fucked you up a little bit. Well, I didn't see it happen. I was driving by it slowly, you know. So you're rubbernecking, like, uh, rubbernecking. Fuck yeah, I was rubbernecking. Of course, I wanted to know why I got delayed, but like, uh, dude, there had to have been at least 
six or eight cars pulled over, just regular good old folk. And uh, the two cars in the rear, you know, as you're approaching, one of these motherfuckers had a white sheet out and they were holding it out, you know. And uh, I guess whoever the Mexican dude was with the road crew, uh, he had moved his road work sign kind of in the left lane to just try to block off, I guess, whatever the fucking view was. But yeah, man, I, I saw this fucking uh, headed fucking fuck sitting Whoa. on the goddamn ground with his belly flopping up and down as they were trying to resuscitate him. You know, like, I don't know if uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to sleep tonight with the joy in my heart. I'm going to be, my heart's going to be racing knowing that's one more goddamn. Wow, no, 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 God damn it, Haywood, dude. All right, dude. All right, man. I, I dude, I, I can't keep going like this, dude. I, I really can't, man. All right. I, I, I really can't fucking keep going like this, dude. All right. So please, dude, I am done with this show tonight. So don't donate anymore. All right.